Hello friends, this video on light, shadows and reflection part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, we, you would have often seen that we stand in front of mirror to get ready for dressing up. So what is that mirror? What kind of mirror is that? So the mirror is a plain mirror. So that is a mirror with a flat reflective surface. So the surface of the mirror, like unlike spoon, because in case of spoon, the surface is curved. But a lot of mirrors come where the surface is just a plain flat surface. So they are called plain mirrors. And these are primarily the, the mirrors which are used in your dressing table. So there you have plain mirrors. So the beauty of plain mirror is that here, the image will always be exactly identical to that of the object. Like the size of the image will be the same as the size of the object. The length, breadth, appearance, everything will be similar to that of the object. So now you might be interested to know how is our image formed when we stand in front of the mirror. So let's have a look. So when we stand in front of the mirror, this is how our image is formed. So basically what happens is light falls on the mirror. So as you see here, light from the object. Now what, which is the object here? We are the object. So we are all illuminated objects. That is when light falls on our body, we are able to reflect that light. So light from our body, it falls on the mirror. As you can see, the red lines represent the rays falling from our body to the mirror. So now when these line, these rays of light falls on the mirror, what happens? Mirror is an opaque object, so it doesn't allow light to pass through it. So the light gets reflected because mirror is a shiny surface. So you see the green rays, they show how light gets reflected. Now if you look at these reflected rays, they are like diverging away from each other. They were spreading away from each other. But if you try to, you know, like locate them at a point, you will see that all these rays would seem to meet at a point. And this is the point where an image is formed. So in a very similar way, image is formed for us. You, you talk about any point of our body. So let's say the tip of your head. So the rays fall on the mirror, they get reflected. The reflected rays appear to meet at a point behind the mirror. And that is where the image is formed. And likewise, image is formed for each and every point on our body, which results in the formation of this complete image. So that's how image formation takes place in a plain mirror. So I hope that you must be glad now that you know how do you see yourself in the mirror. It is not a magic. It is just a simple science. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.